Ever had the perfect thumbnail idea, but your client sends you a photo with the wrong expression or head direction? Or maybe you're working with a celebrity photo that just won't cooperate? No worries. In this video, I'll show you a super easy way to manually tweak face expressions and head angles using a free AI tool. Plus, I'll share a website where you can grab stunning editable YouTube thumbnail PSDs. So stick around, you don't want to miss this. And let's get started. In Google, search for Hugging Face Expression Editor. This is the link that we have to click on, the first one. After loading, this will be the interface. Let's drag and drop our image first. You can see we have these three main tabs, head, eyes, and mouth. We want this expression, so let's start with mouth. Now we have four sliders here, ah, e, woo, and then a smile slider. What they do? Well, you can read these words and notice the movement of your mouth, and you'll understand what these sliders do. We're almost there now. If you say woo, you'll see your mouth getting rounder. This is what the slider does. If you drag it to the other side, it will do the opposite of that. Lastly, we'll increase the amount of smile. Yeah, it looks good, and I think we're pretty much done with the mouth. Let's go to eyes tab now. Here, if you drag the eyebrow slider to the left, it will lower the eyebrows, and similarly, if you drag it to the right, it will raise them, which is what we want. This blink slider is basically how much do you want the eyes to be opened or closed. It misplaced the eyes slightly, so to fix that, we can use this pupil Y slider. If you want the person to look in the left or right direction, you can use pupil X slider for it. Another thing here is this wink slider. If we drag it all the way to the right, this is what it does. This is pretty impressive, right? Now let's reset it and go to the head tab. Here you can rotate the head up and down or left or right like this. If you don't want it, you can click on this small button to reset this slider. With this slider, we can tilt the head to the left or right like this. I just want to slightly tilt it towards the left so it looks straight. Perfect. Once happy with the result, we can click on this button here to download the image. Now go to this website called thumbnailgalaxy.com. Here you can find click-worthy editable YouTube thumbnail PSD files. You can see the designs, they're really impressive. It has thumbnails on all of these YouTube video categories. For example, if we click on education, we can see these amazing designs for education or informative videos. Look at the quality of these thumbnails. There are so many useful elements in them. And now let's go to entertainment. We get many cool designs in this category as well. Most of them are original, but some are recreated thumbnails of famous YouTubers as well. Now, the one I'm going to use for our tutorial is a Mr. Beast thumbnail. So let's write Mr. Beast in the search bar and press enter. Look at these amazing Mr. Beast style thumbnails. The one I'm going to use is this vacation one. I'm logged in with my subscribed account, so I'll quickly download it and let's get inside Photoshop. I've opened the PSD file and we have the website's overlay here. We can simply hide this top layer or unlock and delete it. Then we have the camera raw filter at the top. We'll hide it as well. Eyes and teeth adjustment layers in this group. And then we have the main subject. And then background layers, all layers are separate and easily editable. And if we open the group of the main subject, we can see it has all the adjustment layers there, camera raw filter and all of the other lighting adjustments. See, this is before and this is after. It doesn't have flattened AI images. They have all the manual adjustments. So you can learn the process of making these thumbnails as well. So make sure to check out Thumbnail Galaxy. It's really useful for thumbnail designers. Now before importing Cristiano's face into our thumbnail, I removed all of the highlights from his face as Mr. Beast's thumbnails do not have this harsh lighting. How did I do it? You can watch this video for it. And let's import this into our thumbnail. Now here, I'll quickly scale him down and try to match the size of his face with the original. We don't have to match exactly, just whatever looks natural. I think this looks good. Now I'll hide this layer for a moment. Hide the eyes and teeth adjustments as well. Then select this group of our main subject and click on this button to create a mask. And then with a hard round brush, paint with black color on the mask to erase. I'll turn this layer back on now. And this time make the brush softer and erase the extra parts of this image to try and merge both of the images together. Now it's time to match the lighting and for that, I'll use camera raw filter. I'll increase some exposure first. Also lighten up the shadows a bit as well, and then increase a lot of whites because the original image is very bright. I think it should match now, so I'll click OK. And it actually turned out to be perfect. Then I did some refinements and adjustments to make it look as much realistic as possible. We can also use generative fill to improve the composition, so I'll quickly make a selection of the areas which I think need improvement, and then generate some variations. The results are cool and I would like to keep this one, I think. Then I clean these masks of eyes and teeth adjustments so I can paint my own. Simply select the mask and take black as the foreground color and press Alt Backspace. Then do the same with other mask as well. Then simply paint on the mask with white color. We'll brighten the eyes first. Now let's go to teeth. Brightening them does help improve the focus on the face and thumbnails. Now another thing we can notice is that the lips are more saturated and darker. 
So I did the same with a simple hue saturation adjustment and painted over the lips. Of course, it's too much. I adjusted the saturation and the darkening of the lips so it looks natural. Next, we can see this redness on the cheeks. So I quickly painted some of that as well. That too with a simple hue and saturation adjustment layer. Decrease the layer's opacity as we need minimal amount of it. Lastly, the face needs some dodging, and for that, hold Alt and click on this new layer button. You'll get this pop-up. Now here in the mode, choose Soft Light. Check this box as well, and then click OK. Now in this layer, we can paint with white for dodging. I started by adding some highlights on the nose, and then some on the forehead, just trying to match it with the composition. We'll need a lot of dodging on the cheeks as well, so I'll add it as much as needed on the both sides. And then some more on this area as well. After all areas are covered, we can lower the opacity, as right now it's too much. After that, press Ctrl Alt Shift E. This will give us a single merged layer of the whole composition. Convert it to smart object. Now you can add a camera raw filter, but I'll just copy it from the original layer by simply dragging and dropping the filter onto our layer. And that's it. Our thumbnail is ready. I mean, it can be used as a thumbnail for Ronaldo's rich lifestyle video or something. Anyways, this is how you can easily edit face expressions if you didn't get the desired pictures from your clients. Leave a like if you found this video helpful.